so first we're going to go through the book that we got in the first semester do you remember al-kitab fi ta'alim al-arabiya so you read from right to left yeah you knew that I, of course you knew that if you didn't know that it would be scary so we've got the chapters and everything of course from right to left don't go from left to right so first to start off okay you say hello my name is Mahrano and Anna Anna and then Sarah Anna Sarah uh, or anti for feminine or masculine, which brings me to my first point is gender. When it is feminine and masculine is mudakar. Okay, feminine usually has a alif maksura at the end of it sometimes. So. so, first we've got a book which is kitab, and then we've got the teacher which is al ustad. So, you can first me as al ustad. And literature, for example, is al adab, adab with a khamsa on the alif, adab, not al adab, it's al adab. Okay, because it's got the khamsa on top. And then we've got the nisbah, which is the noun. Okay, you know the nisbah. A nisbah adjective is a noun that has been turned to an adjective. Uh, usually by uh, uh, ending it with yeah and alif and surah. Do you want me to turn off the... the uh, are the birds too loud? To say you've got uh, amrika. Amrika. To make it a nisbah adjective. To, to make it an adjective, basically. So we've got America. You want to make it American based on whether it's feminine or masculine. So when it's some other girl. You're just gonna remove the alif usually, so you've got um, ri, and then kia. Say so we're talking about feminine, amrikia. So that's how it would be amrikia, amrikia. Exactly, exactly. So next we've got yes or no questions. So Arabic doesn't have any auxiliary verbs for for questions like does, do, does, or or is, are. So they have the same structure and the same format, but you you have to add for yes or no. Oh, is it? For a yes or no question, you have to add hell. So not not it's the her. So the the the, the this one. hell. We're gonna do the alphabet after, don't worry. So hell, you put at the beginning of a question, yes or no question, um, and it, it gives the idea basically that you're asking a question, right? It's an interrogative word. So we've got some other words, for example, that we're gonna go through. We've got ma, which means what, but with 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 questions with nouns, in it. and then we've got mother which is what but in in a sentence for example with verbs and then we've got men men remember with the fatha on top which is who and then we've got i which is which and then we've got where which is aina aina where 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 aina min aina anta where are you and then we've got gave like gave al hal gave al hal which is how are you how are you then we've got gave um you get the gist cave cave because uh, when you've got a uh for example like that so say we've got cave i assume it said that you can either do the two dots there to indicate it's a yeah or you just put a line there to indicate it's a yeah but cave for example means how okay cave al hal cave al hal and then some quick prepositions is min means from for example min with a kastra instead of a fatha so it's not man which is who it's min which is from so min na anta from from where are you and then what else we can do Ma'a, which is with you understand with 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 days of the week so it's just similar like yom sabt uh, yom al -akhir. you've got li in order to so for in order for in order for it to mean in order to it's followed by a present verb so in order to fight in order to listen you know but if you want to use it with the gerund for listening the gerund for example is listening for listening in order to fight present verb when using a bisabib which means because of remember i told you it will form any dafa think of it because of the because of the it comes after bisabib becomes definite bisabib al istihan okay because of the al istihan we've got liana ni liana ka liana ki liana kum liana hum liana ha liana hu please remember so say i just told you we have kana kumtu kanu the past tense with the conjugations for the personal pronouns remember that if your past tense sentence has possessive or there is a there is or there are so hunaka hunak or something kana will proceed and and stay locked in as kana so you just use kana okay so you don't conjugate it with kanu um, I just closed the shubak, shubak, shubak. Of course, we have to know the preposition in, which is fi, 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 fi. It's quite nice. So from where would be min aina, in which would be fi ai, okay, and then with whom would be ma men, ma men, ma men. You understand that? So for example, we've got some questions min here, okay, which would mean exactly, and then we've got ma hada. What is this? 
Mahavihi, which is what is this but feminine? Mu'anaf. You flip it. He, Mavihi, he, he, he. Mada tadrus maha, which is it's ma. Mada tadrus maha. So we haven't used ma because there's a verb here, so we've changed ma to mada. Mada tadrus maha. What does maha study? We've got ma'aman, a task of maha. With who does maha study? Maha is the, the girl's name. And then, كيف الهال, which is, as I said, how are things? Or, كيف تقول, how do you say, how do you say, how do you say, كيف تقول, الأسرة, الأسرة. Later, I'll take you through the sun and moon letters, which lets you know where, whether you say, um, pronounce the letter after the al or not. For example, seen, uh, you don't pronounce, you don't pronounce it after al. Or, say we've got the word sun, ashams. It's spelled alif, lam, sheen, meem. Seen as shams, yeah, but you you don't pronounce the la. You say as shams, not el shams. Okay, so later we'll go through sun and moon letters. That's sun and moon letters, which is family. So usra, and then we've got also which is I don't, I do 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 don, I don't, and then we've got translation which is mutarjim, al mutarjim min, mutarjim illa, and then we've got where which is haythu, so haythu, which it's not um I. I know, which I said last time. But this is more of a like, say if you're saying a sentence, you're saying, la la la, where I went to go. I was in this situation where I had to make a decision. Okay, you, you, you that's hay, hay tu. Then we've got maternal aunt, which is, which is khela. So in some languages, we have a different word for the aunt, aunt the aunt, which is for mum and dad's side. So for example, in Albanian, khela is the same word. So we say hala, hala, not khela, with a khekha. But uh, you know what I mean. Then we've got always, which is da'iman. Da'iman. I loved saying that. It's the only thing when my mind went blank. I just think da'iman. We've got da'iman specializing in mutakhassis. Mutakhassis. Mutakhassis in, in, you know, al-adab. Mutakhassis in uh, asiyasiya. Political science is something. Science is a lot. Something. I remember last time. Busy would be mushghul. Mushghul. Ma'a, ma'a, what? Mish, mishkhul with your darasa, okay? Mishkhul with your usra, okay? With your family, mishkhul with your family. I say, I have would be li, 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 li. Fa'alan, fa'alan, fa'alan. With the, with the two, um, when you've got two kasras like that, on the end of the, the word of the alif, it becomes an an sound. Marhaban. So you've got here Marhab and then you've got the two fatas on top like this. It becomes Marhaban. You put a na sounding on the end of it, you understand? Language would be Lughat, Al Lughat, Al Arabiya. Al Lughat, you pronounce the T Al Lughat, Al Arabiya because it's an idafa. Understand? مساء الخير مساء الخير صباح الخير innocent واحد which means one innocent same same in english only one alone and then employee is mother okay so this is some vocabulary that is interesting to go through okay. next we're going to go through some subject pronouns so subject would be me i'd say anna which is i and then we've got nahnu which is we we, 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 and then for example, you've got here, which is she, or you've got hua, <laughs> hua, which is he, um, and then you've got hum, 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 which is they, but then if you're referring to you, plural, you all, you've got um, okay, in a lot of languages, this is a different word, so it's not just. Um, a generalized understanding you 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 because in a lot of languages when you say you plural it becomes much more formal in albanian you say you you yeni or you 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 it's very very formal and i believe it's the same in spanish with usted and tu okay usted is much more formal formal you say with strangers older people and so so we've got anna nahnu here hua and antum okay so subject pronouns 
Okay, next we've got a really fun bit. We've got broken claws. Okay, now we understand that language isn't always coherent and fun. And there are anomalies. And we love anomalies. Okay. So this is what makes, this is where it gets a bit. You have to use your brain. You have to use your brain to make. So we've got broken claws. Okay. So say if you want to make plural, for example, with a feminine word, with a moneth, um, it's very easy. You just change the Aleph Maxura into Aleph and Th. Okay, so for example, we've got here Bint, which is a girl. We just say Binet. Now it's girls. Or Daliba, Dalibet. Okay, Usted, Ustedet. Easy. Khala, Khalet. Okay, Jera, which is neighbor, Jabet. Okay, we've, we've, we've just added um, Aleph and Th. Or with masculine plurals, you're just going to add ya and noon. So we've got Misri, Misriun, okay, which is Egyptians. Mutarjim, um, Mutarjimin, uh, or For now, it doesn't matter. For now, it doesn't matter if you use wa or ya. But later on, I'm going to introduce why there's a difference grammatically, okay? So that's easy. We've got, um, we've understood uh, that. Oh my God, why are the dogs now? Now the dogs are deciding to be loud. Shh. Silly dog. Okay, where it gets interesting is where we break the plurals up. Okay, so we've got ism. Ism. It's not. There's no coherence now. We're just. We're just breaking up the word and rearranging some things around. Okay, so ism. Asma. Al rajul, which is the man. Rajul becomes rajul, men. So let's go through some answers. Kitab. Kitab. Book is now kutub. Okay, with the dama, 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 dama. Medina, which is one of my favorite words, Medina, which means city, now becomes Mudun. Okay, so we've got, for example, Khal, which is uncle, now has become, where have we gone? Akhwal. Akhwal. Okay, so it's not no longer the Mudun, Medina, you know, Rujul. It's Akhwal. But there's, there's a, there is a consistency in this, which I'll show you later. And one of my favorite ones, I don't know why, it just rolls off the tongue for me, these type of applause, this is uh, such structure. So if we find it, doctor, which is doctor, becomes the keter, the keter. It's so nice, no? Doctor, the keter, the keter. So we got some more female pronouns, for example, benaya becomes benayat, or tarjimet, or maktabet, or luchet. Sentence, jumla, nisba, ism, noun, subject, mubtada, mubtada, predicate, khabar. Okay, make sure you pronounce it um, predicate properly, which is khabar. So here, for example, I've got a little paragraph for you to understand. So we've got askun fi, askun fi, and then it says leads. Okay, la la la, eads. Okay, leads, al-muhum, al-muhum, al-kabir, wa jameel. Okay, so what does muhum mean? That's something important, big, and beautiful. Walakin, which means but, ana asma'a, duda, ana. Anna Asma Duda Ailia Jedal Kuleo Anna Asma 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 Duda Ailia. So loud sounds Kuleyum 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 Jamia Baina is just between in between the hospital where my and my house Bay T T T T. We've added the year um at the <laughs> we've added the year. Beit T signifies it's my house. So Beit actually is just a house. Beit house. So Beit T is my house. Beituka, Beituki his house, her house. Beituhum their house. Beituna our house. Okay. Alala Honek, which means there, there is trees. Jamila Jitan, Jamila Jitan, Jamila Jitan. Just repeat that all the time. Jamila Jitan, Jamila Jitan. Very beautiful, very beautiful, and it works a charm. Okay. And then it's in front. Okay, the Jamia. Okay. Where Thania. في وسط المدينة وسط is the center وسط هنا كنائس كنائس تماشل تماشل ستاتشي تمشل تماشل تماشل is a broken uh, بنوك كبير أحب الجامعة كثيرا ولك أنا أحب الناس الناس you see you don't pronounce the lam it's ألف لم نون ألف سين Al nas, not you say al nas, al nas. Okay, akthar, akthar is a comparative. So akthar is a superlative. So kathir is like a lot, uh, not much. Kathir, one of them. And now it's akthar. So I like something, or something is more uh, superlative. For example, you've got sahir, and then it's askhar. Um, don't quote me on that. That might be a comparative, but I'm rusty on that. Akbar, kabir, askhar. Sahir, Akhtar, Kathir. You see this beautiful 
um, um, patterns in language. It's wonderful. Let's just go through some quick prepositions. Okay, فوق is above, فوق under, تحت, تحت in front, أمام في وسط in the center, بين between, تحت under, uh, على يمين is on the right. Okay, حول حول is around. Besides, one of my favorites is بجانب بجانب besides بجانب Exactly. Next, we've just got some big, some grammar here. So we've got marfua, matda, khabar, which is what I told you before. Mansub, maf'aul, darf saman. Their grammar gets a bit difficult. So here we're just trying to find out the matda and the muana. Okay, so we're just figuring out what type of sentence it is and does it start with the subject? Does it start with something else? So we have yadras, tulab, fi, jamin. So now we've got the two, um, now we've got two kasras instead of two fathas. So it comes jamia in, in, not an. Mm, very difficult. Where does this come from? Good question. I don't remember. I answered this. I don't remember. Etulab yohebun. Okay. Derasat. Derasat. Al Arabia. Maadum. Al Nas fi al Maghrib, which is Morocco. Al Maghrib. Yaskanun fi al Mudun. Al Kabira. Al Mudun is the of the exactly <laughs> depending on whether it's a predicate or the khabar and which comes first or first we had like a dama or sit or kasra or la 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 which complicates it yes it does complicate it you're right so let's do some grammar then if we're gonna do some grammar let's do some grammar okay wonderful wonderful and simple idafa idafa is for example say if i'm saying like 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 the 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 the, the woman's cat she owns the cat that's her cat okay but we don't say the woman's cat here for example if you think about it we're just gonna say the cat of the woman so that makes it much easier to picture in your head you're gonna be like well why is it why is the the woman the one the definite the one with the alif lam it's because it's not the cat's woman the woman's cat is the cat of the woman which makes it much easier to picture in your head so we've got the professor's office maktab office and mm -hmm. office office doctor no i'm saying office of the doctor and that's why the doctor has the alif lam. Maktub al astara. For example, the second one is daftar al talib, the notebook of the student, the student's notebook. Definite is the second one. Only the final word takes alif lam or the possessive suffix. Uh, the first word will be definite by definition. So you're wondering, why is it not going to alif lam? Why is it not going to alif lam? It's just by definition. Say if you've got a complex idafa with multiple nouns in there, every non final noun, every non final noun does not take alif lam. So just remember that, okay? So right here, and we're all like using Heather and Havihi. This is this is a city. So if you say this is a city, you say Havihi Medina. Havihi Medina, and you know it's a city because there's no alif lam in Medina. This is a city. Or if you say this city, you add the alif lam, so it becomes definite. So you say Havihi al Medina. Okay. Now you know how to say this is a city. No. Now you know how to say a city and this city. So you say now You add the here Okay, so now we've got This is a city, this city And this is the city So some quick words to help Lima The why In order to is li With the lam And a kasra underneath Because li anna It just falls off the tongue for me Li anna Because Okay, so you've got li anna Which is because But besabib is because of I am sick Besabib Because of this and then Liana would be, I'm sick because I have to study. Liana ni, you add the possessive, possessive suffix. Prepositions and pronouns. Lahu, laki, laka, li, laha, lahum, lakum, lana. Or aindi, I have aindi, I have, okay. Aindi, aindaka, aindaki, aindaha, aindahum, aindahu, aindakum, aindana. Let's write this down. Quick prepositions with pronouns. We've got aind. I uh, I yeah. I I <laughs> so ma also means I have and it's different to I because I is like a general sort of possession but ma would be like like right now what you have on you you have a pen on you ma okay so like kind of that physical on your possession so we're going to do ma and then we've got ma e and then ma ka Kasra and Fatha for Moinath and Mubakar. Or you've got Ma'ahu. Yes. Ma'akum. And finally Ma'ahu. 
Mahu, which is for he possessive got li, but that is for um, personal relationships. Okay. Now, when we're referring to past tense, you use kana. Okay, but kana also has its own. Of course, it does in this lovely language. So kuntu, I was kuntu, I was kana becomes kuntu for I was uh, kenu. Okay, let me write this down. We have here nice and easy kun kun with the dama dama kuntu. Okay. Kenu, I believe, is for she was. Okay, I made a mistake. So we've got Kenet, which is here. That is for she, Kenet. Kenu, Siri is Kuna. Kuna, the dama Kuna. He was, he was. Kuna, Kenet. And then for they, Kenu. Kenu, weird, isn't it? And then for you, male and female. So you've got the same base as I was, Kuntu. So you've got Kunti or Kunta, like anti anta becomes Kunta. Anti becomes Kunti. Okay, so when I wrote Kanat, okay, I put this on the top. Okay, do you know what that word is? <laughs> because I've, I've forgotten it. It's not a Dhamma, it's not a Kasra, it's not a Shada. Because the shada is this, okay? Shada dama kasra. What is it? I forgot what it's called, but it it makes me now pronounce it differently. So instead of um kanet, I say kanet. Who am I thinking of? Russian. I'm thinking about faala, faala, kasra kasra, faala. Okay. So we got faaltu, faalta. Remember? Faalti. Yep. Faala, faaltu. Fa'alu, fa'ala. If we're going to say I don't have or I don't have, uh, we've got laysa, we've got la, we've got lem, which I believe is the past tense. Wait, at what time? The I say, uh, I believe the ga'ik is minute. K, k, k. Not, not, the, not this. Okay, and this. Which brings me to the alphabet. Okay, ready? I'm going to do a quick rundown of the alphabet. Interesting thing about the alphabet is the... The way the letter is written changes if depending if it's on the beginning of the word, the middle of the word, or the end of the word. So that's how you can differentiate. Because sometimes some letters look up upon seeing it, you think, well, they, they look really similar. How are you be able to tell that in a word? It's because depending on whether it's in the middle, beginning, or end of the word, it wouldn't look that way if it was in the middle. And you'd know, for example, let me show you. So first we've got Aleph. So Aleph actually stays the same. So we've got Aleph in the middle. Aleph, then Aleph at the end, which is usually connecting. So Aleph can connect from with the letter before it. it. Nothing connects after it. Aleph is always left alone after it. You don't connect. You don't um, join it. You don't join it. And then we've got there, beginning, middle, end. Same thing really, to be honest. There, same beginning, middle, end. It's the same thing. Ta ta ta. Ta. It's the same thing. So here. I'm forgetting it myself. No, <laughs> the, the the stays the same. Dad, dad stays the same. Does not connect after it. Don't connect it to anything like Aleph, but can connect before. Ra, 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 same. Doesn't connect afterwards. Zin, zin, doesn't connect afterwards. Same. Then seen. So it begins like this. Good, nice and easy. In the middle, it's like this. So it's connected. And then at the end, you go down and you connect like that. Same. So we're going to go shams. In the beginning, it started like that, and scene ended like that. Fad in the middle would start like this. Like sa khir. And then, so it means sa khir. Be like this. And then in the end, you'd bring it down. Same as da, same thing. Da begins like this. You can connect it. So da lib. Like that. Uh, in the middle, it's the same thing. You just connect it, uh, and it ends the same as well. Same as dot. Here we go. Ein begins like this. In the middle, it's like this. Okay, and in in the end, it's like this. Okay, and same with rein. Then we've got fu. So flus, flus, flus does connect with the letters afterwards. In the middle. It's the same, and in the end, it's the same. Okay. Uh, same with ka, and then we've got this lovely letter here. It begins like this. K. It begins like like that, and in the middle of a sentence, it's like this. In the middle of a sentence, and it ends like that. It does connect after 
in the middle it does connect off to and then in the end it just dips a bit like this this is meme okay so meme begins like this meme in the middle is like this okay and in the end it goes down it drops okay then we've got noon begins like this middle is like this noon then we've got her okay this one's an interesting one her begins like this it doesn't connect after but oh it does connect after doesn't it it does does it oh my god yes it does okay sorry so her begins like this like that so you can go you've got hua which is like that and then for example you've got mohim in the middle so in the middle it's like this and then in the end it's like this wow 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 always the same doesn't connect after and then we've got khamsa which is um given its place as its own letter a khamsa is kind of like a glottal stop you know how they say you know how english people say but oh but oh but oh you know mm -hmm. now we've got vowels here so this is dhamma this is kasra this is fatha this is fathatin kasratin dhammatin Tanween, tanween fatha, tanween kasra, tanween dawa. This is a sukun, okay, to signify when a consonant doesn't have a vowel, like a vowel ending. This is a shada, which uh, doubles the, the sound of the letter, okay. So that's how they are written. If we're gonna do fa'al, we've got fa'ala, and then we've got fa'ali, okay, and then we've got fa'alu, okay. Or, so we're gonna write fa'il again. Fa'alu, fa'alu, or fa'ali, <laughs> or fa'ali, okay? We're gonna say an, or we're gonna take that off and we're gonna say in, or we're gonna say that off and we're gonna put tanwin dhamma and un. Okay, this depends a lot on the case. Arabic does have a few cases. I remember wanting to explode when I did cases in Russia. Interestingly enough, in Arabic, you've got a root system, which I find fascinating. A, a, a word has a root. And using the root, you can find out what a word means without even having ever heard of the word. So, for example, for example, k, t, b, k, t, b. These are three letters in a word it's a root now this root has a general meaning it doesn't like ketabe could be things to do with forgive me and please don't police me on this <laughs> general to do with with studying or writing or something like that ketabe ektub i write maktab office maktaba library or either one makatib you see the, all these words they're different words with the same root and you can hear the root Aktab, maktaba. Uh, kitab is a book. See, you hear, you hear the root in there. Kitab, maktaba, aktub. You hear the root in there, and you know kataba. And you could, you could guess. You could even guess that a word is a general meaning from the root. I'm gonna read it to you. Arabic is a language based on the system of roots. In English, we often refer to the root of a word to mean its origin. For example, the root of the English word engineer is the Latin ingenium, meaning skill. Wow, that's me. The Arabic root for, or, or masdar, refers to the core meaning of a word. So the core can usually be identified by three root consonants. For example, the sequence of three consonants, such as uh, sin, fa, and ra. In this order, reading the Arabic script right to left carries the meaning of travel. Yes, yeah, safar, okay, safar. Therefore, a word that contains a sequence of letters, safar, is likely to do with travelling. That's very cool. For example, you've got safar which I think is where the word safari came from, meaning journey. Or Yusafir, he travels. Um, Safir, which is ambassador. You've got Musafir, which is traveller. And you've got Sifara, which is embassy. All these words are derived from the same root, Safara. Notice how the root always appears in the same order. This is imperative. Any additional consonants or vowels before or after or in between are according to the different general patterns. So the feminine ending, that Marbuta, Alif Maksura. Why did I say that Marbuta? What's the difference between Alif Maksura? Oh, correct that, correct that, correct that. Oh, that Marbuta, not Alif Maksura. Alif Maksura is something different that I was... So, for example, this is an Alif Maksura. And I was calling this the Alif Maksura, but that's a that Marbuta. No, this isn't, this isn't Alif Maksura. Okay, the emphasis on root consonants means that vowels 
especially short vowels. The pronunciation often varies between modern standard Arabic and other spoken dialects. For example, yaktub, meaning he writes, would be pronounced yaktub in MSA, but could be pronounced yuktub or yiktib in a dialect. Oh, he's studied dialects. The meaning is generally conveyed by the consonants rather than the vowels. So much of Arabic grammar is concerned with how the root is manipulated to create different related meanings. As you become more familiar with the patterns and structures, you'll be more able to identify the root to manipulate them. So now let's look at some roots. So this is very exciting. So first we've got the root that I was talking to you about earlier. Kataba, which is kitab, book, office, maktab. A writer or a clerk is a kaatib, a library, maktaba. Um, then we've got the res. So a lesson is dars. A teacher is mudarris. And there's a shadda on the ra, so you get mudarris. Study is dirasa. School is madrasa. Very cool. I love it. Let's do two more examples. This is very fun. Next, we've got something to do. So so now we've got kasra. So maksur, which means broken. Taksir, fragmentation. Inkasar, it was broken. Kassara, oh, something's the matter. Oh no 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 no! Don't stop it. Oh. Kassara, with a shudder on the seeds. Kassara, is a nutcracker. Very cool. Then we've got a player. So the root here is la and ein and be. So laib is player. Playing field is melaib. I think when you put mean at the beginning of the word in these sort of things, it often means some sort of place, physical place. I think, for example, like madrasa and uh, mala'i is the actual playing field. Say if you've only got two words in a letter and you need three three letters for the root, check if there's a shada in one of the letters. So, for example, ka and lam. Say if there's a shada on the lam, you've, you've got three letters. The lam becomes a double root. Lam, lam says ka, lam, lam. You've got the root is ka, lam, lam. Okay, just some quick things here to test. We've got yes. We've got na'am. I can't read backwards. <laughs> okay, na'am, min. Okay, fi, huwa, ana. Okay, I can't read backwards. We've got wow, la, la is no. Aina, I can't read backwards. <laughs> this hadihi female, her the masculine. She, he, you, anti female. <coughs> what is ma? Hel is like an asking auxiliary. Gaifa, how, oh, not auxiliary, I don't know, <laughs> I'm not good with these, like, linguistic things. Um, <coughs> yeah, so we've got this basic gist of things here. Next, remember before I was telling you about sun, sun letters. So Arabic has no separate word for A or N. Or, say, if you've got a chair or an apple. So kitab means a book. It just means book, a book, right by default. Or maktab means an office by default. To make a noun definite, you add AL in the beginning. You already knew that. So, El Maktoub now becomes the office. Okay, so we've got Walid, Al Walid. And we've got Bint, Al Bint. Uh, a shirt is Qamiz. Same in uh, Arabic. It's uh, well, uh, in uh, yeah, Albanian. We say Kmish. 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 Um, at least in our dialect. Al Kamis. And then Hakiba. Hakiba becomes Al Hakiba. Okay, so now we've got sun letters. So nouns starting with certain letters of the Arabic alphabet cause the pronunciation of A-L to change. The L is assimilated and instead the initial letter of the noun is pronounced twice and written with a shadda if the vowel marks are included. So sayara, which is a car, becomes a sayara instead of al sayara. Or nahar, which is a river, becomes Anahar. The letters which cause this pronunciation assimilation are called sun letters, al haruf al shams, as sheen is itself an assimilating letter. Note that only the pronunciation is affected by sun letters. The spelling of al doesn't change. Half the twenty-eight letters of the alphabet are sun letters. Very cool, yin and yang. The remainder of the letters are called al haruf al kamira. Kamira. So we've got da, fa, da, ra, sa, zin, whatever. Sheen, sheen, sa, da, da, fa, la. And no. So there you've got the sun letters just to look at there. Sun letters are right here, and these would be the moon letters right there. The moon letters would be ya, wow, uh, her, mim, ka, ka, ha, ha, ein, rein, ah, ha, ha, ba, ah. Okay, kursi, al kursi, surir, a surir, uh, miftah, which is a key, dajaja, which is chicken, al dajaja. Well done. This is something that I absolutely hate. So, hollow verbs. Afa'al, 
الافعال الاجوف 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 I hate holidays I hate <laughs> they can be in any pattern. So here we've got um um so for example قال فعل وزن. Oh my god, I'm getting flashbacks. Oh my god. So you've got the وزن, which I I think is like the skeleton of the letter or the form. So form one past the كون. Oh my god. Yes, there's no way. If the present form one begins with a yet, the past will begin with the best. Present helps with the past. If the present has begins with a well, the past will have أصاب do something so let's read it together uh, مختلفة جدا okay شو عرفتوا خاسة الناس okay here we got في البعض okay and then we've got حيان كونتو and then we've got فندق 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 تو ف أو oh, فقدتو فقدتو I was saying فندق which means hotel my bad uh, and then عن which is like about Berlin about Berlin so عن Berlin and then we've got مين لندن uh, مركز uh, المدينة so the street market um, مركز I don't know actually فضلتو ولكن الطقس كان الطقس الجو الجو I think is the weather كان الجو فما كان means in the past كان الجو ما عاد ذي بدا when I come شمس R P my teacher Zayn genuinely such a great man genuinely genuinely such a great man I will give him his flowers so we've got في تشرين الأولى okay so قررت السفر قررت السفر إلى برلين عشت في الأديد why did I write like this في المناطق مناطق is a broken clause so منطقة means like a place مناطق is places area مختلفة which is different ولك قضيت مؤذن 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 most of the time I don't know وقتي my time مكان a place اسمه يكون جنوب شرق Ah, I had the term, I think, which means usually the, t the time. I don't know. Oh, fil uh, hakika. Sorry. Actually, like, actually, really, fil hakika. Ma ziltu la afham kana ladi astika la tafa. Yon. So you'll notice here, ma ziltu. Ma ziltu is an interesting thing to note. Ma ziltu means like, I still. Like I still do something. Kabertu fi London. Kabertu. We've got the ta on the end with the dama. It's not shown here. But kabertu meaning this was in the past. Kabertu. In the future, if you're referring to the future, you say sofa, sofa, sofa. Um, or you can just put s at the end of it. So sofa aktub or sakt aktub. I don't know. Kabertu fi London. Where, like in la tadakir. لعبنا كثيرا we played a lot أظنوا أظنوا I think that uh, ولدي مه مه مهمان أو الإفطار which is breakfast الإفطار is breakfast you maybe you've heard your friends say إفطار during fasting القهوة ال no these are late these are late آسف I'm sorry آسف القهوة not كح قهوة قهوة التركية وغنينا صباح هو ساعدني في ممارسة. Okay, before I go to the corner shop, some quick um, drilling of some of the vocabulary. We've got a church is كنيسة كنائس كنيسة كنائس كنيسة which is a beautiful word كنيسة that's nice. Cinema is cinema phonetically yes factory is مسنا مسنا مس flat is شقة قققة the screen that shows where the Arabic letters are coming from in your mouth. Okay, how deep it goes. Let's say, so, 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 so. Okay. Mustashaf. Hospital. Mustashaf. Then we've got station. Shop is mahal. Or dukan. Oh, dukan. Interesting in Albanian. It's duchan. Duchan. Duchan, depending on your accent. Or Okay, college is kuleya. Farm is hadika. Maktaba. Madhaf. A restaurant, matam, stadium, a stad, uh, <laughs> raif, very cool, madrasa, jami, sharia, broken plural, shuar, <laughs> shuaria, masjid, masjid, mosque, merkaz, jamia, and then we've got post office, maktab, el, breed, 
is that breed? I can't read. Haman. Haman is like a bath. A haman. Sibaha. Haman as Sibaha. See if we're going to compliment each other and call each other some things. This is the last um, vocabulary I'm going to do because this is already a very long video and I've done a lot of vocabulary. So I'm going to go to the shop. I'm going to get my Reese's Pieces. And then when I come back, I'm going to do some vocabulary. Okay. So then we've got hair. Which is Sha'ad. 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 Which is Sheen. Which we've got here. Sha'ad. Okay, which is hair. Um, short hair would be qasir, with a uh, two dots qasir. Okay, then we've got beautiful, which is jamil, jamila, with a that marwood at the end can be for women. Wasim, handsome, you'd call, and the wasim, the wasim, you are handsome. And the word fat is samin. Okay, ugly is qabi. Slim is Nahid. Ayun. Okay. You've got dual words in Arabic where you're implying. So you've got plural, you've got singular. And dual. Oh, Ghurfaka. So you've got Shaka. Um, okay. Or oh, Asra as a bloke and, bloke and, bloke and plural. <laughs> and then draw is Dorj. Mira is Mira. It's a, you know, like an English method. Uh, English, you know what I mean? Not actually English. Bedroom is a Ghurfa. Okay. Um, toilet bathroom is hamam, like this one is in. Living room, I can't put that out. A theft is furniture, sofa, arka, ghurba, mall, hair, it, hoor. Shirt, knees, trousers, pantul. Same in uh, Albanian. Oh, pantalon. Pantol, pantul, here. In Arabic, there's no letter for P. You know, instead of saying pasta, you've got basta. <laughs> Maybe basta, basta. So here, for example, for instead of pantalones, we've got bun, 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 ta, bun, na. Okay. Shoes is hida or athia or coat is me mantak, mantak socks. We've got a hijab. We've got short for shorts. Okay. We got a lot of our words from the Ottomans, like cotton, pamuk, dress. From Fustan, okay. Gloves for ah, uh, for fairs. That's a weird word. Haya, hayati, my life. Haya, kum, haya, the kum. Yes, you put the the in front of the kum because it ends in a vowel, so you need that sort of break stop. Haya kum. No, it doesn't feel right. Haya the kum, like how we said before with usted. Sorry, I said that in Arabic, <laughs> like usted, like. Spanish, you know, you know, to comprehend. Okay, so singular is one, of course, and then dual is two, and then plural would be three to ten, but single is eleven to a hundred. Okay, so that's where it gets confusing. Remember when I told you about um roots, the very interesting thing about roots. First of all, remember that vowels are often not part of the root, so just look for mainly look for consonants. So if there's a missing consonant, like I told you, look at the plural form. So say if you can't find the root, for example, I'm saying for example, say if you can't find the root in Medina, let's look at its plural form. We look at Mudun. Now look at the root and see if you can find something. We'll look for the shada, like I told you. Alef, sin, ta, mim, nun. It may be, yeah, or well. How much, if we're talking about um quantity, is an alef with tanwin, fatha tanwin, and kem, kem tanwin, kem tanwin. If we're talking about how much in terms of price, it's bikem, bikem with a ba, ke, and m. B, so look here, B, kem, ba, e, kem. Begin, begin for personal pronouns. For personal pronouns, it would be uh, I. I, 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 I. Objective pronouns is different between personal pronouns. And then the objective pronoun would change it to me. For example, Nahnu is now going to change to us. Noon and Elif. Noon and Elif. Lam, Lam, Noon. Lam, Noon. Like, so, Lam, Lam, and Noon is to negate the, the future. So, Lam, Sofa. Lem. So remember, I was telling you about self. I just add scene. Okay, I will work. So you say sir. Usually it would be Amel. Amel, I work. Amel. Or Filmadia. Kuntu. Sorry, uh, as if Amel to. So like Kuntu Amel or Amel to. I think it sorts it out because you've got the to and the the da and the dama at the end, which implies that it's past tense because of the Kuntu Amel. Now you've got the future. So we've got. So the sofa, the scene here, the scene here, um, 
ستعامل اوكي وف وفرين سو ناس ستعامل ستعامل you put the dot there because it just makes sense it's just you know, another way to add the word sofa so, so like I told you it's got sofa here okay you've got two ways of saying something you either put an with the um I forgot the word the n with the verb what's it called to 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 or you put the gerund for example here we've got yuridun they want asken ba'adin an so the asken is the gerund you've got the alif lam and you've got the gerund okay so you can say that so they want living away so you say they want living away or you can say yuridun an yaskanu they want to live the end with the khamsa is like an is going but then you have to um add the um conjugation so sometimes it's easier i think to say a skun but depends you know with language there's always that difficulty someone's going to sneak out so we've got a skun fi a khruj min um bayti asa'a adhab ila al jamia kul yawm i go to university every day bayti bi janib Jamiah, so that's wrong. So I put her there, it's actually Jam. And I am in the Maktaba, Kuli, I work in the library every day. Um, I am in the If you're referring to a masculine word, fi who cannot be used, but fi he must be used instead because ya followed by the that uh, marbuta. So here, for example, we've got an example of something that's anomalous, okay, but with other prepositions. Who can be used? For example, men who from him, but with fi you you can't say fi who you have to say fi he. It sounds difficult, but you get used to it after a while. Much like all of this stuff, you know, you look at it and you think, oh my god, I'm never going to be able to do that. So, for example, if we're talking about case endings, for example, some cases are nominative, uh, accusative. What else have we got? <laughs> nominative, accusative. <laughs> So accusative case will come after li or an. La ahad means no one. La, for example, no ahad one. Wahid, like wahid of name. So uri do an laed. Laed da fatha ma'a ukhti. My sister ukhti da. And the ya at the end to indicate that it's for you. Ukhti. E, e, me, me, me. All would be kul plus alif lam. All people, kul nas. Which is a sound letter, so it's alif lam, alif lam noon seen. Each and every is cool plus the indefinite. So do you see the difference there? All is cool plus definite. Each is cool plus not definite. So it's like each, each definite, not definite. So when I was talking to you about objective pronouns, it's not like she likes I. It's now it's like she likes me. Okay, so that's when we add the noon and we add the ya. Okay, so it becomes me. So it becomes me. For example, she doesn't like me. Here, la. Dahib. So the da is referring to that it's her. Dahib. And then ni. Bring it around back full circle to ni. So you've got two, you know, um, modifications to the word. Dahib. Ni. She doesn't like me. The interesting thing about Arabic that you've got there is like, you've got all the information there in one word. When I think about the sentence in English, she does not like me. So many extra words there. Whereas in Arabic, you've got all that information just in one word. It tells you who's saying it, to who, uh, when, in what context, all in one word. So you've got three cases in Arabic. For example, right now we've got jussive, accusative, and nominative. Okay. So we're on the same evening, and nahar remember. So you've got al nahar I believe it's with an alif, forgive me if it's not. So you've got the, the softer H there. So it's not the, it's not El Nahar, you know, with the hard H. Uh, windows, Shubabika, paper, Waraka, areas, Nenatik, Bloken, 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 Bloken. Okay, so I'm just going to rapid fire read you through the grammar quickly. Just for, but first, let's quickly go through the numbers. Don't go anywhere. This is fire. So here we've got all the numbers. Okay, so if we're gonna go into the first one, so we've got the calculator and the year here, so we've got 1999. Okay, so if I put in Chicago, Denver, Sydney, Wellington, Paris, uh, Cairo, Hong Kong, Karachi, London, where's Karachi? Well done, Pakistan, where's Paris? 
Rather than France. Where's Cairo? Rather than Egypt. Hong Kong is China, no? <laughs> Wellington. Australia. Well done. Honolulu. Well done. That's Hawaii. Sydney. Well done. Australia. Denver. Well done. America. Moscow. Well done. Racia. Los Angeles. Well done. The US. Tokyo. Well done. Japan. Rio de Janeiro. Well done. What's busy? And what does it mean? Well done. Rio, yes, is River. Janeiro is January, so it's basically saying River of January. I think when they first discovered it, in Spanish. So we've got where head one, and then we've got two, which is why that some words that are dual end in elith nun. Ithnain, ithnan. It's referring to the number two. And then thalatha, arba, khemsa, sita, sabah, sabah, or something. Thalatha, Tisa. Tisa is nine. Tisa. Lemuda. Salun. Lem negates the future. Difficult time. Work. Saab. Let's talk about some activities. So, Ekul. Ekul is eat. Ekul. Okay. Wajba. Wajba. Al Asha. Fi. Fil Masa. Okay. Sun letter. No. Moon letter. I did the ten. I did the ten. I did the ten, which means usually I believe I did the ten, and you've got a tanwin at the end of it. I think I did the ten. Okay, thum, which means then. I love this. Okay, and remember, thum can be written like this with three dots, or if you prefer, you can just do it like that. Thum, and if it was thum, you can just do that. Okay, so three letters would be, I mean, three dots, two dots. One dot, okay. Three dots, two dots, one dot. Estaham fi baiti, ahianen, which means sometimes, and daima means always. At the term, like we said, is usually ahianen akra al khabar, which is the news. Um, what's that news service called? Al Jazeera. Uh huh. Al Jazeera. Oh, never mind. Qabil means before. Qabil. Qabil means before. Al Noom, Al Noom, which is sleep. So before sleeping, and that's the gerund, I believe. So before sleeping. So it's not before I sleep, before to sleep. Blah, blah. Kul layla, kul layla, which is every night. Nemu, Al Nemu. Ah, you have the dhamma at the end of that because that's the matata. Uh, you know, so you put the dhamma at the end. <laughs> I say, A thalitha fi layl. Okay. So now we've got morning, kul sabah. So sabah al khair. Good morning. Remember that word. Kula sabah. Astikadu, astikadu khwali. Atnun fil sama uhib fasl asif. Fi ra'i. In my opinion, fi ra'i becomes the my opinion. The knowledge to confess. You've got some emotions here. Worried. Kalk with two kalk. So let's talk about explanations of the column. So the first word. From the right, okay, so we've got Kataba, Kataba, which can mean he wrote, he had written, he will have written. Um, but then we've got Yak Tubu, which can mean was writing, will be writing, is writing, okay, so that was it. Then you've got the imperfect, which has four moods, so indicative, he goes, he will go, states the action um, as a fact. So he will go. Okay, that's indicative. Distinguished in normal verbs by a final dhamma. Subjunctive is a word that describes a word that depends on another word to denote the command. So he commands, he commands that I go. Subjunctive is also used after another particle that indicates intent. For example, li. So it's distinguished by the final vowel a, fata. Uh, and dropping the syllable na from suffixes. So the command may be um, commend, wish, intention, or fear. So that's an easy way to remember negation. We've got la for present tense verb, ma for past tense, lam for future, lam for past. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. La is followed by nominative, ma is followed by past, lam is followed by present accusative, and lam is followed by the word that goes back to the present. Laysa is to negate a noun sentence. There's a big difference you have to remember about gerunds, okay? So look, I am traveling, not a gerund. Traveling is fun. A gerund. Very confusing other words for if. We've got low in. So look, the look, can you see? The khamsa 
is at the bottom, not the top, so it's not it's not an, it's in. Which you want to remember. Either, okay, either is used by the past El Modi he in is formal and occurs in proverbs, okay? For example, inshallah, inshallah, if God wills, if Lao introduces a condition that is untrue or impossible to fulfill. If I were you, how interesting. Stuff we don't think about in English, okay? Or, or in whatever language is na native to you. Um, we don't think about stuff like that. But then you learn another language and you're like, God, it's so complex. All these different words that we just don't even think about. What was at the top of the tongue? So, la introduces, if I were you. The result, cause, is introduced by la. And both clauses must be al -madi. So, if I had... لو كان عندي إف أي هذا